What's up, what's up, what's up? It's T Walk the Hawk. Today's video, I'm gonna show you our resistance band workout routine to build some muscle mass, gain some size. Um, if you're like me, I know sometimes you can be short on time, you got a busy schedule, you ain't got time to go to the gym, or let's say you work out from home, you don't have any equipment, you can't afford dumbbells, a bench, a squat rack, and everything like that. I'm gonna show y'all a quick routine you can do at home and how to really utilize resistance bands to pack on some muscle mass because you don't need machines, dumbbells, and everything like that. Think about it. In prison, they got little or nothing to know some of the biggest, biggest people in the world, alright? So today, make sure y'all watch all the way through so I can show you a bunch of different exercises you can do. As y'all see, I'm right here in my living room with just two resistance bands, all right? Let's get into it. All right, so let's get into it. Like I said, I got two resistance bands here. I bought them for $5 a piece of five below. Really cheap, really effective. If you're like me, you wanna put on muscle mass, gain size, you're a natural lifter, or even if you're a female, whatever the case may be, it doesn't really matter. You wanna get muscle, you wanna get big, you wanna gain inches on your arms, you wanna get a bigger chest, everything like that. This is the video you need to be watching, so I'm pretty much gonna show you one exercise for each muscle group for how to build muscle mass, gain some size, stay a little bit lean, but it all depends on what you're doing, what your diet's like at the moment, if you're cutting, if you're bulking, whatever the case may be. This is a solid routine. I'm gonna walk you through exactly how you should do each exercise, the rep ranges, and everything like that. All right, so let's get into it. All right, so the key to building muscle and gaining size with resistance bands is really kind of understanding what your strength is. If you're extra strong, you don't wanna use just one band with light resistance. You might need two. You might need a resistance band with a higher resistance to it. So I got two, like I said. If you need more, stack up, get three, get four, get five. If you're weaker, only use one. Again, this is for wherever your starting point is. So let me grab my bands, all right? As you see, they're the same resistance, moderate. So we're gonna grab both of them. First exercise, we're gonna hit chest. So this is a really good exercise for that upper inner chest, which is where most people lack the most muscle mass. People might have developed um, mid chest, lower chest, most people lack the upper chest, all right? And you really wanna see that split, see that separation in the middle. So this is a good exercise for that. So what you're gonna do, grab the handles. We're gonna step on it. Again, depending on your strength, you can use one foot, two foot, if you put two feet, put them a little farther apart, it's gonna make it more resistance. It's pretty simple, I ain't gotta show you all the way down there and everything like that. All right, let's get into it. You're gonna grab the handles. You wanna keep your palms facing up, all right? And you really wanna pull through. You don't wanna pull with the thumbs. You wanna pull through with the pinkies. Keep your hands out from your body. You don't want them in like this. That's another variation for this one. We keep them out. Flare them lats. Get them shoulders ready. What you're gonna do, bring it right up and in, right to about your eyebrows, all right? All the way out, up, out, up, out, up, really control it so you don't want to swing it like that and have it feel like a rubber band. Really control it, keep it out, bring it up towards the top of your forehead, out, control, squeeze. Now again, test your strength. This should be a resistance to where you can get anywhere from, I would say no more than 15 reps. If you want to build that muscle mass, we, won't, we don't want to be using a weight where you can throw 20, 25 of these in. You should only be getting 10, really 12, 15 max. So I'm gonna go for 12 really quick, show you how it's done. Let's get into it. That's one set. That's the same as going to the gym, getting cables, and pulling them. It's the same effect. It doesn't matter what you use. Use a machine, dumbbells, kettlebells, uh, barbell, whatever the case may be, you can build that muscle. I'm feeling a pump in my chest just off of that one set. So with this, if you was putting together a full team, do that three sets. Three sets of 12. If you're more advanced, four sets of 12. You can switch it up like that, all right? But that's the first exercise for chest. Now, let's move on to biceps. All right, so for biceps, it's the same idea. Use a resistance band, have enough tension to where you can only get. You might, you can do a few more reps with biceps because you really want to focus on the pump. Maybe 15 reps max. If you can do more than that, you need another resistance band or you need a resistance band with more resistance to it, all right? So I'm gonna turn to the side. 
so I can see these biceps, see these arms, see what they're looking like, and really see how you can build these up with just resistance bands. All right, so I got two of them. Stay to the side, simple bicep curls, that's it. Full extension, keep them elbows in to the side. You don't want your arms out like this and curling, keep them in, extract that scapula, get ready. Full extension, squeeze all the way, all the way down, control it, squeeze at the top, down slow, control it, same thing, you don't wanna be rocking it. So let's do 12 of these, all right? All the way down, chest up, you don't wanna be swinging, back should be straight, abs tight. Squeeze, one, two, three, four, I actually just finished a full, about two hour workout. I just hit biceps at the gym and I had 20 minutes on the Stairmaster. So I'm already pre-exhausted. So forgive me if I look like a chump right now, but it's all right, we pushing through. So that's the second exercise. So we hit chest, we hit biceps. Now let's do something for triceps, all right? So now to get into the triceps, me, again, I'm more advanced, I'm a little stronger. Same idea, I'm gonna grab two of these. What you're gonna do, you don't need both handles for this. You gotta step on it. You kind of got to gauge it, so step on it um, at a point where you feel about resistance. So if you're weaker, you need it more extended. If you're stronger, you need it closer in. So you're gonna put it down. Again, I ain't got to show you all this is simple stuff. I'm gonna step on, step on it. We're gonna do kickbacks. Bring that elbow all the way up. Bend down and kick it back. That's actually a little, it's a little too much resistance. So I'm gonna move it out a little bit, extend it. This is basically a lot of workout. I ain't cutting, I ain't chopping. Let's go. So elbow up, you don't want it down like this. See a lot of people doing that, or a lot of people when you're doing this, keep that elbow in to the side. It shouldn't be flared out, keep it in. Bend all the way over, elbow up, kick straight up. You can really see, you can see the separation. Again, I'm not that lean right now, but I'm lean enough, so I really want y'all to see, you know, how it's really contracting the muscle. So keep that elbow in and squeeze. Pinky up. Pinky up, we don't need to be doing it with your wrist all contorted and going straight up. Keep that pinky up, elbow up, pinky up. Bang, bang, three, four, five, six, seven, Same thing, it should be enough tension to where you can only get about 12 reps, I'm breaking a sweat right now, I'm feeling slow, all right? So 12 reps, same thing. Three sets, 12 reps. If you really wanna get that pump, build that muscle, you should be taking no more, since we're using resistance bands, anywhere from, I would say, 20, 30 second break, all right? Because it is harder to get that pump and get things going with resistance bands, but if you do it the right way, it's the same as using machines, same as using barbells, same as using dumbbells and everything like that, all right? So we already knocked out chest, Biceps, triceps. Now, let's get into shoulders, all right? So now we're gonna hit shoulders. So the best thing for wide shoulders to really get that delta pop. A lot of people, they focus on shoulder pressing. If you really wanna get wide, developed shoulders, again, shoulders are on my weak point. Now you can see it's pretty much one of my stronger points. Um, my weakest point is my upper chest, so I'm still working on that. That's another topic, all right? So, with shoulders, you really wanna get them developed, everything like that. Hit some flies. So flies, you don't have to go as heavy. Even when I'm using dumbbells, I only use about 20s maybe. So I'm just gonna use one band for this. I don't need both of them. What I do is I bend over slightly, make sure the lats are out and flared, make sure the shoulders are flexed. So a lot of people, I said this in another video, you just kind of do flies like this. No, you really gotta have that mind-muscle connection. So I'm gonna get into position, flare my lats, make sure my shoulders are pretty much flexed before I even start. So I look like I'm posing to show off my delts, all right? So we're gonna bring it out, keeping it right at the waist, bring it straight out, all right? Now when you do this, notice, I don't have my arms straight, I don't have my thumbs up. You want your pinkies up, but not just that. Slight bend in your elbow. Again, get in position, slight bend in the elbow, bring it up right about shoulder height, so about a T-shape, all right? All the way down, back up, control, squeeze at the top. Let's do 12 of these. Yeah, you should really 
refill that shoulder pump. And I actually like the look in the viewfinder. When I'm doing delts, I really like to focus on looking in the mirror. It's not to be feeling myself or anything like that. I really want to make sure I'm really hitting them delts. Because a lot of times with these side laterals, people are doing them wrong, or they're uneven like this. So I really want to make sure everything's perfect. Elbows are up, slight bend. I don't want my arms too straight. I don't want them too bent. And I really want to make sure I'm pulling through the pinkies and not through the thumbs or straight out or anything like that. That really makes sure you're putting the tension on that delt so you can really get that separation and build this muscle mass, all right? So again, chest, biceps, triceps, shoulders. Now, I'm gonna show you something for back, all right? Same idea with everything. Three sets, if you're more advanced, you can go four to five or however many you feel you can do. Short breaks anywhere from 20, 30 seconds since we're using resistance band. And keep it going, keep it going. That's how we're gonna get <laughs> so now we hitting them lats. This is pretty much for your upper lats. There's a bunch of variations you can do. I got a bunch of different resistance band workout routines. If you haven't checked those out, I got a whole playlist of the resistance band workout routines, all right? But for this, I'm gonna show y'all something that's gonna be a little different. Um, bear with me again, I'm recording this myself. I ain't got no help. So what you're gonna do is, you're gonna grab it. Not at the handles, that's no resistance at all, all right? Grab it close, again, depending on how strong you are, close you wanna grab it, you don't wanna grab it too close or this thing might snap. Again, this is a cheap $5 resistance band for five below. Grab it about right here. Gonna bring it up, keep those elbows out. Chest up, you don't wanna be slumped over. Chest up, step a little and really squeeze down with them elbows, all right? I wanna show you all from the side. So it should be about right there. Shouldn't be in front of you. Shouldn't be too far back, all right? Be dead even all the way up and really focus on pulling down with those elbows. So this exercise is another one where you really got to have that mind muscle connection. If you're just kind of doing it, you're not going to feel it. You should be feeling it right here and your upper lats is really good um, to get that kind of bra fat for females or to really focus on developing that upper lat if you're a male trying to build this muscle mass. All right. So again, I'm going to show y'all. Hopefully, I'm in the viewfinder. Bring it up, elbows out. Just still be some tension at the top, so you shouldn't just relax. Keep the tension. All the way down, squeeze. All the way up, control it. Squeeze. So same idea with that. You can probably go 12, 15 reps on that. Again, it's kind of an easier movement, but really focus on that mind muscle connection and you're not gonna feel it at all. It's really good. You should have the same, you should feel the same contraction as, that, as if you was doing a wide grip, lat pull down um, with the cables, all right? So same thing. So what we hit now, we hit chest, bicep, triceps, we hit delts, we hit back. All we got left is abs. We can do some exercises with the resistance band. Um, Matter of fact, I'll show you one, all right? So an exercise you can really do for your core with the resistance band is really good for the obliques and really making that waist smaller. A lot of people when they're focusing on oblique, oblique training, they get a 50 pound dumbbell, they do side bends, everything like that. All you're doing is making your obliques, those muscles right there, thicker, which is gonna make your waist bigger, all right? So you should be doing using light weights, so resistance bands are perfect for this. So we're gonna step on it even with one foot. So we'll start with the left foot. We'll step right on it. We're gonna grab it at a place where there's enough resistance. This one, you really gotta focus on, same thing, mind muscle connection. You really wanna make sure the form is perfect, all right? So we're gonna hold it slightly out from our body. Feet should be wide on this. That way you're having resistance from one side and you're pulling to the other. So a slight bend in the elbows. Again, if you grab it, the handles is probably not enough resistance, but again, gauge it for yourself. We're on both hands. We're gonna twist up, all right? All the way back, just still be some tension right here. You need to bring your feet wider. And twist up just like that, all the way back. And squeeze. So when you squeeze right here to this side, you should be feeling it all on this side. All the way back, focus, control, squeeze, and squeeze. And also, to show you a side view, you don't want to be bent back. You're going to feel it in your lower back. You should have a slight bend forward almost like you're in a crunch position. So you should be flexing your core, flexing them abs, bring it right out here, and squeeze it up, all right? All the way down, notice how I'm slightly bent over, and squeeze it up, all right? 
Like I said, you should throw that right there. So that's something for the core. Same thing with the core, I usually give it a little bit more work. So with that, I would do four sets on each side, so left side and right side, of at least 15, 20 reps, all right? So there's that. Only thing we got left is lower body, so I'll show you that real quick, and then we'll get on out of here, all right? Let's get into it. So as you see, tilted the camera down a little bit, talking to y'all. So with this, you're gonna grab it, we're gonna get a wide stance. It's gonna be similar to like doing a uh, goblet squat. We're gonna step on in, wide. I'm gonna bring it up just right here. So let me show you a side view. Back straight like you're in a squat position. Keep it in front of you. We're gonna come all the way down, just like doing body weight squats, but you're using a resistance band. So it's adding weight. All right, all the way down and up. So notice how I'm pulling these with it. I'm not moving my arms at all. I'm keeping them locked into place. You can put it in a, the hands in a praying position, whatever the case may be. Back straight like you're in a squat form. All the way down. And up, down, up, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Right. So that's really good. It's just like I said, doing a goblin squat with the dumbbell. So I got a dumbbell right here. So same idea, goblin squat, you want it right here. Come down, so it's the same idea. idea. Just like with the resistance bands, I'm out of breath right now. You okay, you see me on the screen. Come all the way down and up. So the same exact thing. And this is a 30 pound dumbbell and I felt more resistance with the resistance bands, all right? To give you an idea, it's really effective. It's really good if you have like lower back or knee problems. When I have clients, I have them do goblet squats instead of barbell, anything like that. It's too advanced, especially if you have lower back and knee problems, like I said really good for building up the ligaments, tendons, get them stronger and ready. As y'all see, it's crazy. I'm really winded. I think it's because I'm talking so much and I'm exercising and I just finished a two hour workout. But yeah, that's pretty much what we, we had upper body, lower body, of course there's a few other things. There's a lot of other things I can show y'all. But that's it for today's video. This is how you're gonna build muscle mass at home with the resistance band. We're at the park wherever you may be. If you got a um, little gym at your office or something like that, this is an effective routine you can do to really focus on building muscle if you just can't make it to the gym that day. So again, all these exercises, you should be doing anywhere from 10 to 12 reps, no more than 20. Make sure it's a solid resistance. If you can get more than 15, it's too light, you need another band, you need a band with more resistance, all right? As y'all see, I'm hurting. If y'all like the shirt, check out the apparel. Link is in the description, T Walked Out Gear. Dot com and also I put together a free guide for y'all all right so it's a free guide for building muscle mass gaining weight gaining size if you're a hard gainer or you have a fast metabolism again I struggle I was really skinny played basketball I was linky growing up so I know how it is and I'm glad I figured it out and I want to help y'all out so it's free it's the first link in the description check that out and as always do what you gotta do do what you gotta do because it's that simple I'm about to get some rest. I'll holler at y'all later. T walks hit the battlefield and go berserk. 20 inch arms pumping iron till you know it hurt. He looking like he probably fresh out the pen. But nah, he just consistent, young and fresh out the gym.